Hi, myself Subroto Mukherjee and today I am going to discuss how to calculate the cash price of an asset in an higher purchase agreement. A Limited entered into a higher purchase agreement with B Limited for the purchase of an asset over a period of 4 years from January 1, 1999 by yearly installments of rupees 10,000 payable on 31st December each year. B Limited charges interest at the rate of 6% per annum on the yearly balances. Calculate the cash price of the asset. In this question, A and B enter into an higher purchase agreement and A agreed to purchase an asset from B for which he is going to pay installment and the installment is yearly installment which is paid on 31st December each year the interest being 6% per annum here the cash price of the asset is not given so we need to calculate the cash price of the asset in this type of problem the structure of the working is very much important so first I will prepare the structure for calculating the cash price of the machine. So on 1st January 1999, A entered into an agreement. So this will be the cash price. So we will find the cash price of the asset. So there is no transaction in between. So on 31st December 99, interest will be charged on the outstanding amount. Then on 31st December 99, first installment will be paid. So let's first installment. And the amount is given 10,000. So on 1st January 2000, outstanding amount will be here. Then again on 31st December 2000, interest will be charged. This will be the outstanding figure. And on the same day, the second installment will be paid and the amount is 10,000. So on 1st January 2001 outstanding amount we need to calculate then again on 31st December 01 add interest and outstanding balance and on the same day third installment will be paid and the third installment amount is also 10,000 so outstanding balance on 1102 on 31st December 02 add interest less fourth installment so you see the structure of this working let me show you the structure. So on 1st January 99, the cash price, we have to calculate. At the end of the year, interest is charged. Then on 31st December 99, first installment is paid. And on 1st January 19, uh, 2000, there will be an outstanding amount. Again, interest will be charged for the year 2000. 
in for second installment is paid on 31st December 2000 then there will be an outstanding balance on 1st January 2001 again interest will be charged then there will be outstanding then the third installment then there will be outstanding on 1st January 2002 again inst interest is charged on the outstanding balance and then the last installment will be paid so I request all of you to write the structure of this working clearly in your notebook and then we will do the back calculation so come to uh, how uh, now let's discuss how to calculate the outstanding and the interest through back calculation method So since the fourth installment is 10,000, so the balance outstanding on that day is also 10,000, the same balance. Now what is the amount of interest? So if the 10,000 is the total installment, then interest will be 6 by 100, 6, 6 is 6% 6 is the rate of interest. So the interest amount will be calculated at 566. So what is the outstanding balance on 1st January 02? So this will be 10,000 minus 566. So this is 9434. So what is the outstanding balance on 31st December 01? So you need to sum total this two figure that is 10,000 plus 9434 this will give you 19434 because from 19434 10000 is the amount of third installment which is deducted and the outstanding balance is this much so you need to add it up now what is the interest for the year ending 31st december 01 so 19434 into 6 by 106 so your interest is 1100. So what is the outstanding? 19,434 minus 1100. This gives 18,334. So your outstanding will be 28,334. So installment amount is added back because you need to deduct this less second installment so from 28,334 you have reduced second installment and the outstanding balance is 18,334 so we have added this 10,000 and 18,334 so again what is the amount of interest 28,334 into 6 by 106 so this gives you 1,604 so from 28,334 1604 is deducted and you arrived at 26730 then again you got the outstanding 36730 so we have added this 10000 and then what is the amount of interest as on 31st december 99 36730 into 6 by 106 so this amount is 2079 so what is the cash price of the machine so 36 730 minus 2079 so this gives you 34 651 so see first of all we prepared the structure of these workings and then moving from downward we reached the cash price of the asset So the cash price of the asset can be calculated in another method also. So I discuss the other method. So what is the year? Yeah. So this method is applicable when we prepare uh, or solve the problem in capital budgeting. So here is the structure. Year, annual installment. This is PV. This is the present value and at the rate of 6%. And this is the cash price. This is the discounted cash flow that all of you calculate when solving 
the problems on capital budget. So this is basically discounted cash flow or the sum total of this discounted cash flow column will give you the cash price. So this is first year, this is the second, third and fourth. So each year your installment amount is the same. So that is 10,000. What is the present value factor? How to calculate? This is 100 by 106 for first year. So this is 0.9434. For second year, 100 by 106 to the power square. So this is 0 0.8900. For third year, 100 by 106 to the power 3. So this is 0 0.8396. And for fourth year, this is 7921, 100 by 106 to the power 4. So you just multiply these values 9434, then 8900, 8396, 7921. So this will give you 34651. So either of these two methods can be adopted while finding out the cash price of the asset in higher purchase. Hope all of you have been able to understand the method I have adopted here to calculate the cash price of an asset in a higher purchase agreement. I request all the students of commerce to subscribe my channel. Thank you.